Okay, welcome to the lecture number 61. So, uh, we have been discussing about the control moment gyros. So, we will continue with uh, that topic. Okay. So, I w times this becomes omega dot and then for all of them first we write here psi dot times c 3 cap theta dot times theta double dot times d 2 cap and capital omega times f 1 cap and plus then we have to differentiate these quantities for the c 3 d 2 and f 1 cap. So, as per our earlier discussion this psi dot times c 3 cap will change at c 3 cap is fixed in the body and therefore, it is changing at just omega. So, this is psi dot times c 3 cap plus theta dot also we have looked into the earlier part this will be omega plus psi dot c 3 cap cross theta dot d 2 cap. Okay. Next your the last part which is existing here. So, that will change because of the omega plus psi dot c 3 cap plus theta dot d 2 cap. Okay. This becomes the angular velocity of the will with respect to the satellite this particular part okay. and cross capital omega times f 1 cap. And once we close this bracket the last part that remains is this one. So, we copy it here omega w slash c plus i w omega w slash e. So, these are the three equations of motion for the satellite with CMG. Okay. This is your equation number earlier we have written C. So, this becomes equation number D. So, this is the will it is a defined in the will frame or either in the will or the w whichever you write f or w uh, both are ok. ok, but it is a uh, now you have to add all the 4. So, you can consider that how complicated this equation becomes and then you have to take care of the other things here. So, uh, it is a uh, appears to be a formidable task. But uh, let us first uh, do something we are not going into the controls of the CMG in this long format there is no, uh, no way we can discuss it here because it is a very long and we will not get any benefit out of that. Once you learn this part then you can uh, start doing on your own. Okay. Thereafter uh, we have to add all of them, but before this we do little bit of manipulation okay so this is the first equation we have written equation number a okay so all these equations we have to write it in a little special way to uh, get to the solution, but before this I want to discuss something with you. Okay. Now, you can see that this is the moment of inertia of the wheel defined in the wheel plane or in the f plane. Similarly, this is the moment of inertia of the f frame defined in the f frame itself. If we come to this place here this is the moment of inertia of the d frame it is a defined in the d frame. Okay. So, what we see that my body frame is located here 
this is e 1 e 2 and e 3 with respect to then we have the somewhere the c 1 frame here in this direction c 3 cap and uh, c 1 cap c 2 cap these are located ok. This center they are matching it is a little poor figure. Okay. With respect to this C 1, C 2, C 3, your D frame is oriented. Okay. So, D frame is oriented somewhere uh, say for that we can draw it by other colors. So, this is your say the D 1, this is D 2 and this is D 3. And then with respect to the D frame, your uh, f frame is rotating. So, with respect to this d 1 frame then f 1 frame is defined. So, this is f 1, f 2 and f 3. So, obviously, we can see that the moment of inertia which we have written as i f f the moment moment of inertia of the f frame in the f frame itself because in that frame only in the f frame only the moment of inertia of the f frame which is the horizontal frame okay, which we have shown as f 1 cap f 2 cap and f c cap. So, as this frame rotates so this frame is also rotating along with this. So, the only in this frame its moment of inertia will not change other it will change in the e frame. Okay. So, we cannot just simply add the whole thing and get the result we have to do the conversion for that and for that we need a proper changes okay so we write here first we have the orientation of the d frame with respect to the c frame okay so C frame is a non rotating frame and it is a that will be given by rotation about the third axis and this is done by psi. So, we write as r 3 psi okay. and your C frame is oriented with respect to the B frame and this orientation you can write as r C B which we can write C 1, C 1 2, C 1 3, C 2 1, 2 2. Okay, so, C 1 uh, frame it is a basically uh, defined by your uh, C 1 cap vector, C 2 cap vector and C 3 cap vector. So, we can write in terms of this C 1 cap, C 2 cap, C 3 cap these are the vectors. See, uh, this is your frame E frame okay. and with respect to this somewhere your E 1, E 2, E 3 this is of your of the body B or with respect to this C 1, C 2, C 3 is located. So, this is the C 1 cap. So, C 1 cap has certain direction cosine is not it that comes here in this place. Similarly, the C 2 cap it has certain direction cosine. So, that enters here. Similarly, C 3 cap has certain direction cosines. So, that will enter here in this place. Okay. Okay, so, uh, Similarly, we can write here the rotation of the f frame with respect to the c frame. c frame 
is a frame which is fixed in the body okay and uh, so your uh, c frame c frame orientation we have written with respect to the body which we have written here in this place okay so with respect to the c frame the b f frame rotation so that will be given by two rotations one rotation first we have to do f with respect to the d frame and then d with respect to the c frame so with respect to c we rotate the outer frame so this is the rotation and that rotation you are giving about the third axis okay and thereafter from d frame you are going to the f frame so this rotation is about the two axis of the d frame so here you have this is r2 and this you are rotating by theta so r theta psi so this rotation is basically this you can write as r2 theta and r3 psi so this becomes rfc and rd slash b the orientation of the d frame with respect to b frame this can be written as rd orientation with respect to c frame and then rc orientation with respect to the b frame so this is your rd so if, uh, rcb already we have written here in this place okay so that we will not change change the notation okay but this part rd slash c this is r3 psi so this way we can write the all the equations we can write all the equations now okay so the equations already we have derived however as we have seen that the moment of inertia we are of the f frame we have defined in the f frame itself okay while for the moment of inertia of the body we have written along the body axis so all this equation a b c and d this is in a different frame this is in a, uh, obviously this we have done this is in a different frame okay so if they are in different frame we can not just add them we need to convert them into the same frame and what is the idea that we convert them all of this moment of inertia and the this vectors also to the b frame itself so this is here theta dot we write it together theta dot so this vector c3 d d2 cap c3 cap they are appearing and this moment of inertia okay they need to be converted into the b frame which is our here in this case the main body which we have written by a small e1 a small e2 a small e3 okay so this conversion after doing this conversion only will be able to do something okay so for converting that we need the following things say so we have the somewhere we are getting the moment of inertia of the say uh, d frame in the d frame itself this is the term we have got okay now this term because we have to make it com compatible with this so i need to convert this particular term into this equation so for th that reason i will copy just one part and show you how we do is i will pick up this equation okay so this is idd uh, these are all idd
I will pick up this part which has been expanded later on and written here as this equation. Okay. So, here the d i d what you have written. So, this is the moment of inertia of the d frame in the d frame itself and we need to convert this into the b frame. So, I will take this particular term which I am marking here okay, this one. Okay, rest other I will not consider because then it is a formidable task to do it. My idea is here to explain the principle, okay, but we cannot do this as a classroom problem uh, in a very extensive way. Okay. To this extent we can do there after we have to close it is a matter of the research. Okay. So, once you are doing the research problem we can you can take it up. So, if I pick up this term d i d here i d and this is d and then we have omega dot. Now, also one thing you have to consider that this omega dot though we have written here using this notation, but this is also this is the omega dot means the omega vector at which your this body is rotating. Okay. But its component omega dot component we are taking along the d frame, okay. this is written in the d frame while you are writing here in this notation. So, that means all these components you have to write along the d frame and if you try to write in the b frame then you have to convert all of them into the b frame this is the issue here. Okay. So, therefore, this all of them will be converting into the d frame. So, I will show it for one of them. So, say this is the particular part. So, you have here on the left hand side we have h dot d this is this is with respect to the e frame okay but all the components of this we have taken along the d frame itself okay this is with respect to the e frame but the components are taken along the d frame because this is the way your id is appearing and because of that it will be in the d frame the components so, let us pick up only this term and leave the others, okay. uh, otherwise it will be too long to work here. Now, if I need to change this into the B frame, so what I need to do? So, say the I D B is the moment of inertia of the D, I D this D frame moment of inertia, this is the moment of inertia of the D frame inertia of the d frame in b frame b reference frame. So, how we are going to convert this into the d frame. Okay. So, if is the this is the moment of inertia of the d frame in the b frame. So, if I have to convert this so, how we are going to convert as you remember that we have used the attitude matrix. Okay. So, for converting this from B frame to D frame so that it will come to this. So, on the right hand side let us write this as I D D. Okay. So, this is the attitude matrix or the rotation matrix. So, we have to go from B frame to D frame and B frame to D frame this transpose or if you write simply in the rotation matrix term. So, this is R D slash B I D B this transpose. So, this will be D I D. 
but this quantity we have to insert here. Okay. And for this what we have written that first rotation with of the going from B frame to C frame and then going from C frame to D frame. So, this is the equivalent rotation here and then I B D and then similarly here we have R D C times R C B this is transpose. I D D. So, this way we have to convert the matrices from, from one frame to other frame. So, I will write here in the sort okay, and this we are going to utilize here in this place. Okay, the only one term we have picked up. So, I will work on this, but before this let me write all those terms. So, I D in the B frame then will be written as if you write from this place. So, just you have to reverse the whole thing. So, this term you have to take it on the right hand side. So, the first term will appear as R D slash B transpose d slash b okay. if we multiply it by r transpose and here by r. So, on this side also okay. so we get this equation and because it is a rotation matrix. So, transpose times dot the rotation matrix that becomes unity matrix. So, we get like this okay. and obviously, then try you have to put here d slash b already you know that d slash b is this quantity r d slash b. So, you need to insert here in this place. So, if you put it, so that becomes R C slash B R C slash B transpose times R D slash C transpose I D then ok. So, we have done we are writing uh, I B D. So, th this we have taken here this is fine. So, this is transpose and then simply we copy this R D slash C and R C slash B. And then this we can rewrite as this can also you can write as this will be nothing but B slash C R C slash B transpose is nothing but the just the reverse direction R C slash D I D and R D slash C and R C slash B. Okay, now, we pick up this particular equation and then work on this. So, we have uh, h, h dot h dot d and this we have done with respect to e and this is in the d frame itself on the right hand side we have i d d and then omega dot but it is a taken along the d direction. So, we need to convert all of them into the b frame ok only one term I am picking up as I have told you ok. So, from the previous one you just pick up. So, this quantity is written here in this place which we have expanded here in this place. So, we just need to place it there ok. So, I will use a shorter notation I will use this part ok this part not this part because this is here two matrices are involved. 
So, it will not be that convenient. So, we will pick up and then write it there. So, I d d can be replaced by I d d this can be replaced by I d b and this multiplied by R d b slash b R R d slash b d slash b and then R this one is d slash b transpose d slash b transpose. Now, look into this part this is also in the d frame. Okay. So, we need to convert into the b frame. So, let us say this omega dot has component in the b frame if we write it, I, I, if I write like this i b this is the component of b d frame in component of the d frame in uh, this notation we can choose to this I put here as I d d. Okay. So, then it will be ok. So, this is omega dot d let us assume that Okay. This is represented as this vector in the B frame. Okay. So, from the B frame once we are converting, so how we have to write? We have to use the same thing R D slash B and here R D slash B transpose. So, for that we will insert this quantity here. So, R D slash B B omega dot D R uh, Okay, only one part this is only this is not a moment of inertia vector this is just a, uh, a simple vector this is not a moment of inertia matrix. So, we do not need to do this exercise the, this is not required here this is the only one part is required. So, this part we just remove it. Okay. So, this converts it from if this is the corresponding vector uh, of the d vector in the b frame. So, this we are converting into the d frame okay. and this then becomes equivalent to or the equal to omega dot d in the d frame. So, you replace this quantity here. So, I have inserted here. Now, the quantity which is present here this is just a unit matrix. Okay. So, this becomes r d b slash b i d times omega dot d and on the left hand side you have h dot d slash e and this is t. Okay. Now, if I take this on the left hand side pre multiply by r d t transpose. So, r d slash b transpose here and then h dot this is in the d frame d slash e this becomes equal to i d b times omega dot d in the b frame this is for omega d this is in the b frame. Okay. What this quantity is this quantity we can simplify as we can write as r b slash d transpose that gets changed to this notation d slash e. So, this is nothing but it is a converting from d frame to b frame. Okay. So, that means this quantity is converted to d frame to b frame. So, left hand side then we can write as h d slash e dot it has been now converted to the b frame okay. and then you can see the things then get simplified.
So, this is the whole conversion. So, you can see that now the angular velocity of the d frame it is uh, expressed in the b frame. Now, it is uh, ready for addition. So, if you do this operation for first one does not require any change because that is for the main body. Okay. The first equation first equation is here in this place a this does not require any change because already this is in the b frame. Okay. These are already in the b frame this is also in the b frame. Okay. So, here I do not have to do anything with this one, but for rest of them you have to do these changes. Okay. In the you have to convert in the b frame to get an equation which will be useful for your control purpose control design purpose. Okay. Now, if once we have done this part, so the next part is to rewrite these equations. So, the equation A, now we can rewrite this as that was for h body h dot body this equal to i times omega dot plus omega cross we define a new quantity h b dot prime and write this as h b dot minus i omega dot and this equal to then right hand side becomes i times omega dot. Let us say this is equation 1. Similarly, for the once you have done this conversion you have converted all of them into the b frame. Okay. So, this is i b in the b frame itself okay. this is i b in the b frame itself. So, with this conversion then thereafter we take the d frame and there also we can write in the same way the left hand side was and these are with respect to this is with respect to the E. Okay. This is the absolute angular momentum term we have written. Okay. So, I just want to drop this E to not to carry this thing it it is complicating the whole issue. Okay. So, this way it looks little simple to work with otherwise too many subscripts are appearing. So, this also we write as i d and once you have converted into the b frame times omega dot already I have shown you that it can be converted and rest of the terms then appear on the right hand side. So, we have to go to the equation b and look into those terms. So, here this part ok. Here from this place we have taken this part only to the left hand side on the right hand side all these terms will be present. Okay. So, the other terms then can be written as. So, that way we can write here as i d and already we have converted to the b frame. So, this is i d times rest other terms okay. and then your the cross product term is there. So, all of the terms will come here in this place and this I term as equation number 2. Okay. I am not writing it is a very long and it is not required here what I am going to do. Okay. Similarly, h dot prime then we have the f frame okay. that also we write as h f dot and then i h f this has been converted to the b frame by the operation we have written and then omega dot means we go to the equation number c 
okay, this is the equation number c. So, here this is the omega dot term. So, this will come on the left hand side, okay, rest other terms will remain on the right hand side okay. and that we are defining as h f prime. So, here then you have the i b f and all other terms and plus the cross product term which is there. So, this is equation number your 3 and lastly you have the will equation. So, this also you write as h dot will minus body i will omega dot and the same along the same line this is body and the same way the other terms here and this is your fourth equation. So, once we add all the four okay, what we get here h b dot prime plus h d dot prime plus h f dot prime plus h w dot prime this equal to the quantity which are here h b dot plus h d dot plus h f dot plus h w dot okay, minus the quantities which are present here. So, this is simply i b b times plus i b d plus i b f plus i b w times omega dot. Okay. This term we are leaving it here, we are just adding this. Okay. This particular this forms one equation, okay. once we have taken it here on this side. So, we are defining h p prime equal to this quantity. Okay. So, we are adding this and the right hand side, so right hand side is here. This quantity is nothing but your total h, total h dot because these are the with respect to the inertial frame, these are with respect to inertial frame. So, this is your with respect to the inertial frame total h and rest this quantity is i times omega dot. Okay, so, we go on the next page. So, what we have got here i times omega dot and then uh, h dot minus i times omega dot this quantity is equal to h b prime h d prime all these things. So, this is h b prime plus h d prime plus h and then f prime okay little bit of rearrangement of this is required this is the angular velocity of the satellite as we have said earlier omega is the angular velocity of the main body which is nothing but your satellite bus or the outer portion which we have indicated by b okay. so if we re rearrange it so we can write this as h dot minus h b prime minus h d prime minus h f prime minus h w prime. And what this quantity is as you know this is the total rate of change of the angular momentum of the satellite with respect to the e frame. 
So, this quantity is nothing but the m external. So, we can write here this part as m external and minus then we write S d prime minus H f prime minus H w prime and then H b prime is there. So, H b prime we have to take care of that your H b prime if you look here in this part. So, this is just this quantity omega cross i b b omega dot this is not dot here uh, this part we have done the wrong thing written this dot is only here not here in this place. Okay. So, H b prime then we replace by omega cross i this is the main body this is the main body here i b b omega now in this format So, this is equation number we write as E. So, if your if m external is the force acting on the satellite and these quantities as we have defined here, okay, they are all converted in the terms of the these are all converted ones, okay. these are all converted ones expressed in the body frame, okay, expressed in the body frame. So, once you have converted here in this format and this i we have written here this is the total i i b we have used for that. So, this uh, I will use the notation j for that. Okay. So, I will use notation here j instead of i. So, I will write here j this is the total moment of inertia of the whole body. So, this case here this also I will change. Huh? Uh, बस इसको wind up कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि इसके बाद ये बहुत ही लंबा topic था तो आज से बस मैं wind up कर रहा हूँ हो गया wind हाँ हाँ हो जाएगा ठीक है okay so we have changed this now you can simulate this using the MATLAB you can write your equation so, these are all converted in the body frames. So, this you will know from your numerical calculation, okay, these quantities are known to you okay, of the main satellite body this quantity is known and this is the total moment of inertia which I have written just now the I B B plus I D B plus B I F and plus B I here uh, the will. So, this quantity will be known to you by conversion okay all this is known from conversion remember these quantities are known from the matrix conversion this part is already known to you but these are coming from the matrix conversion they are not in their own frame remember we are converting and therefore we are getting this so put here in this and then you can do the simulation and this gives you the exact equation of motion for the satellite for simulating it provided you calculate all the terms and put it here okay all these terms are to be calculated and this is the external moment acting on the satellite if if m external this quantity is zero so just set it to zero and then you will get the result out of this so it's a very long exercise and thereafter you go for the control so the real trouble will start then you have to add up all the equation and work with them simplify them and then write in a particular format then devising the control. So, you can imagine that how complicated the whole equation will become. Okay. But uh, these are the real thing which goes into the actual engineering. Okay. If you have a large satellite like the uh, ISS International Space Station and you are trying to control that you need, need the gyros and not one you will need many there are 4 gyros over that double gimbal gyros. Okay. 
and here this is becoming little more complicated because we have taken the variable speed control moment gyros. So, this whole exercise we are doing for variable speed control moment gyros V S C M G and this is double gimbal ok obviously double gimbal not single gimbal double gimbal. Okay. So, this completes the equation of motion simulation and here at least this part if you want you can code in the MATLAB you can check your things and some re remaining part like the kinetic energy calculation how to how to verify that your uh, calc the simulation you are doing it is a running fine means you have done the correct simulation. So, for that I will cover in the in next class, but I am not going to cover any more controls on this ok. For the simple thing that we have discussed that the outer frame and the inner frame they have the zero mass and only the wheel is having certain mass. So, for that case I will take and that for the control design we will not do I will show you the control block diagram and if you are more interested you can look into the book by Marcel J. C. D and another book by Bongvi which I already I have given you the name in the last class ok. So, thus uh, the today work it is uh, uh, completed and we will continue in the next lecture thank you very much.